Yeah, boy. Josh here with Deprive Productions with this default cube in Blender. We're going to do a 21st modeling tutorial. We're going to talk about a couple add-ons today. And that means we're going to add some stuff into the project that Blender comes, it comes with Blender. But it's not added on when you first install the program. I'm going to walk you through that. We're going to talk about two of them today. There's tons of them. If you go to File, then you go to, or go to Edit, I'm sorry, go to Edit and go to Preferences. You're going to see a little tab here, right? You see a little tab called Add-ons. You can see that I've already clicked it. You know what I'm talking about? Now, there's a bunch of add-ons. You can scroll your little mouse wheel. You grab your little thingy right there, whatever you want to do. And you can see that some of them are turned on by default. But there's tons and tons and tons of different add-ons, and we're going to talk about a couple today that bring a little, bring a couple more models into our program here, into Blender here. You know, and we're going to talk about landscapes. That's the first one, and and what it is is it's going to add like a landscape kind of editor into Blender. So if we go right here, if you can't find it, you don't know what you're looking for, feel free to come in and check some of these out, try them out, see what they are, Google them if you don't understand. The point is, I'm going to go right here. I'm going to type in a landscape. You type in a landscape, and you'll see that I've already got it selected. Now, typically, it'll look like this. You know what I'm saying? Now, if it does look like that, if you notice, if I will close the program, and I'm going to delete the default cube, even though we love him. We love him. We love him so much. If you shift A, you'll notice that you have all your normal stuff here under mesh. You know what I'm saying? All your normal stuff. That's Now, if I, if I turn on landscape, you're going to notice something here down at the bottom. Let's go to edit. Let's go to preferences, add-ons. Let's click that landscape on. It's already on there for me. Close it. Shift A again, and boom. Oh, oh, oh God. We'll go down. A little, look, click on the old landscape, bro. And boom. You got yourself a little, you got yourself a little landscape, homie. I'm going to move this out of the way. We don't need all this nonsense, man. I need to be able to see what we're doing. I need to see what we're doing because I'm going to click on this little window right here. Boom. It's going to open up our landscape options. I'll show you a couple tricks. Actually, it's not even tricks. You can toy with this yourself. The point is, you have like your resolution right here. If you zoom way in, you know what I'm talking about? Zoom zoom way in, you see what's going on here. We consider it like 400, you know what I'm saying? 400 by 400. Oh, God. Now, you'll notice, if you exit the window, you can't open it back up. What's cool about that is if you just delete your landscape, shift A, open up another one, boom, it'll open it up exactly where you left off. Very cool trick. Remember that. If you accidentally get out of this window by pressing tab or something, just delete your landscape, go right back into it, boom. It's there. I'm gonna set this one to 400. You know what I'm saying? I'm just cranking up the resolution of the landscape, and now you can tell it's a lot higher res. There's a lot more to do than that. Let's turn it back down because we need to be careful. You know what I'm saying? Because we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff, making it bigger, and my nose is itching. So let me scratch that. Now the scale is obviously exactly what you think. We're gonna set that to five and five. You know what I'm talking about? And it'll just make it bigger. But it stretched out the landscape and continued to add more polygons and more faces and all that good stuff. And you can see it's got some, it's got some life, it's got some life to it. It gets a lot more complicated than that. What's cool? As you can see, after you've, after you've toyed with it down here, like the depth and the height and stuff like that, you can go back here and toy with the different type of noises. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't have a lot going on here, but you can still, oh God, I messed it up again, bro. You got to delete it. You got you to click on it, delete it, shift A, go to landscape, and, and oh, wait, 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 there it is, snap. I, I'm glad that they did that because it's easy to mess that up. So just remember, it's very easy to mess that up, and I'm glad I could show you that. But anyway, the point is, we'll go to our uh, the different noises here, and you'll notice if you click another one, it's going to do... It, just basically, it's going to make small changes. You're going to see it kind of does different things. And, and based off your resolution and stuff like that, you may, you may need some help. A little more flat kind of world here. Well, let's, let's, let's change some settings, and then we'll go back and toy with it. The depth and stuff, let's leave alone. But let's go down way down to the height here. There's a lot of settings, and feel free to toy with these. The offset is obviously exactly what you'd think. It'll offset the mesh itself. You know, it'll offset, like, the noise itself. You know what I mean? It's kind of doing that number. If, you, if you're like, oh, man, I kind of like it right there. Kind of like it right there. You know what I'm saying? That kind of cool stuff right there. And you got your size, one or X and Y, just in case you want to make some some changes like that and actually like zoom in the zoom in the noise itself and toy with the noise itself like that. You know what I'm saying? Kind of cool. Just toys toy with stuff there, you know what I mean? We'll set both those back to zero. You know what I'm saying? Zero. Oh God, not zero, bro. It, that, it was one. It was you gotta set them to you gotta set them to one, bro. Okay, you just calm down. Now the height is obviously exactly what you'd think. We'll bring it up a little bit. Okay. Oh God. Oh God. What if I didn't? I'm sorry. I'm just gonna bring it back down. I'm just gonna bring it back down. Everything's gonna be fine. You'll notice that there's a floor up there. And we'll talk about that. Or we'll talk about that in a minute too. There's a floor up there, and you can adjust where that floor is. So you can have like some plateaus and some cliffs up there. You know what I'm saying? Now what's cool is we're starting to get kind of a landscape. We could obviously toy more with the the offset and stuff like that, and the depth, which is obviously set to a, a pretty specific number. We could set it really high, or really, if you notice, if it's lower, it's going to be kind of dead. You know what I'm saying? Kind of not as con not as uh not as detailed. You know what I mean? It was set. I went to eight. Was it eight? That's pretty good. We set it up to you set it to twenty, bro. It gets pretty pretty detailed. And you could set these to about. 
What is five twelve? You know what I'm saying? Five twelve two times. You have yourself a pretty nice little landscape here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, well, oh, it's loading. Okay. Let's be honest. It's pretty detailed now. We got some detail. And it's not perfect. I mean, if you zoom way in, you can obviously there's some faces. But the point is, once you were done with your landscape, you could obviously smooth it out, do some stuff like that, sculpt it. You know, it's just kind of cool because you can start yourself off a landscape pretty sweet. And like I said, toy with this to where it's like pretty big and obviously i'm really like i'm, I'm pushing the pc right now because this is a lot of faces 512 by 512 over thousands and thousands little poly johns little poly johns you know what i'm saying all kind of poly johns now we got 12 by 8 it's gonna be all big you know what i'm saying and it's making all kind of more stuff and then i can go here and be like i like that but i kind of want to scoot it over and you can tell the pc struggling now you know what i'm saying because i got all kind of faces but the point is if i set this back down to like let's say back down to like oh i'm not not 12 bro 12 is a little low let's do 120 you can give yourself a little work and space I'm running a GTX 2080 Super, but the point is I want to be able to kind of see what's going on here and actually still be able to, you know, function. You know what I'm saying? Function. Now, let's, let, what's really cool is if you notice this button right here, it says Sphere. Boom. You click on that. You got yourself a little ball, bro. You got yourself. It's broken. It's it's broken. It's a it's a broken ball. But the point is you got your different sizes here. You know what I'm saying? You can kind of toy with stuff. You can you can make a planet. You know what I'm saying? You make, you make a planet. And, and I'm not going to lie. That looks pretty bad. You know what I'm saying? It looks like a pretty bad planet. We crank up the resolution here just to make sure. We haven't lost our brain. Oh, yeah, it looks pretty bad, bro. I'm not good at it. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't judge me. You can sit here and offset the noise still. It's just letting her, setting the letting the noise run through. You can do like a random seed kind of thing, like I said. I'm gonna set this back again. I keep I keep going back and forth, bro. I keep going back and forth because my computer's scared. You can set little random seeds, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you want, five, 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 nine or something. And then the point is you can set the entire size of the whole thing and and and, and, and the different types of really crazy noise. You can kind of dull it down a little bit to where it's not so ridiculous, you know what I'm saying? A spherical world, you know, a spherical world, and if you, you can remove your doubles, but if you don't like the sphere, just set it back to that and now it looks awful but the point is you have a landscape editor here there's a lot of options a lot of stuff down here make sure you toy with it some you can kind of play this number here you can set like your, your it's kind of like the the level here that goes the, like the, the flat level oh no you know what i do bro if you delete if you if you get rid of the window and you need it back delete it shift a wait up here shift a landscape boom and it's back you know what i'm saying everything exactly how you left it the point is, you can have some fun with this, kind of toy with this. Dude, there's so many settings, definitely toy with this. That's the point. There's a lot of add-ons with Blender, and just make sure you definitely toy with these. This is just the landscape editor, and again, I barely touched it. I just want you to know it exists and that you can toy with it and just show off a few of the settings. Let's go ahead and delete this bad baby, and I want to do another one, okay? Now, this other one's already added as well, but I'll, it's really important that you understand where this one's found. If you go to Edit and you go to Preferences, and I want something that's going to do like trees. You know what I'm saying? We're showing that the edge trees, and when you need to type in, it's the word sapling, and you'll see that I already have it clicked. Okay, so I'm going to unclick it, right? And I'm going to go back and go to Shift A. And what you do is you, if you look under Mesh, regardless if you turn it on, it's not going to be there. Let me explain that. Go to Edit, go to Preferences, turn it on, turn the Sapling Editor on. It will not be under Mesh. It will be under Curve. And if you get under Curve, you're going to see yourself a little a little sapling tree gen. Boom, baby. And now, this is kind of the same thing. You don't want to accidentally edit out of this window. And this one's a lot more detailed because there's a lot going on. So you have all these different tabs of different things that you can do when it comes to editing your tree. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's, a, lot of, lot, there's a lot of tree stuff. Okay, we're going to tree. We're going to tree together. You and me. Trees. Now, we got all kind of different trees. You know what I'm saying? We got all kind of different kind of trees we can do. And you can set the resolution of different things if you set this down to one you'll notice that the the, the branches you know they kind of have you can see the little lines and if i set it up to like 10 bro snap you know round him round him suckers off bro don't be scared and you can kind of you know like i said you're toying with this the same way i kind of like to zoom out look at it and then you know you go back and in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, and just like you're supposed to, just like Mama taught you, in and out like that. And the point is, you can see different things you can do to your tree. You can you can add the you know, the random seed is obviously a thing too. And there are several settings in this page, but besides that, you know, saying this is like, you know, like different ones they've already kind of created. You can you can different sizes and whatever or not. But the point is, you go to this next tab here. You got like the radiuses. You know, what I'm saying you got the the radius of the oh god. You got to be careful. You know, what I'm saying like definitely make tiny changes there. You know, what I'm saying or if you want to leave that alone, set that down to like point one. Oh, you know what? Let's just Let's just let's do that number. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait for it. Wait for it, bro. Oh, no, uh, I had it. I had, that's fine. You know, so the point is now you can kind of like you can really dial in and make make tiny, tiny changes to just certain parts of the tree. And you can kind of get all up. Oh, oh, like, oh, God. Oh, yeah. You like that? It's like real, real, real big, real girth. I like that girth down at the bottom, bro. It gets kind of tiny up at the top. I have that. I have that. 
All right, anyway, so after that, we have we go down. We got all kind of other stuff. I will show you leaves, bro, because if you go down to leaves, you're like, I don't see them, but you can click show leaves. Snap, snap, you got all kind of leaves, bro, you know what I mean? You can. And what's cool is after you're done with this model, you can go in and toy with it. But you may not like the amount of leaves. You may want to kind of, like, change certain things that are going on. And, again, this is going to be, you know, be careful when it comes to the amount of leaves that you're using. You may only want to use, like, a hundo. Be careful. Or 25. You know what I'm saying? Oh, God. Oh, God. No, I'm just kidding. It's not that bad. It's like a it's like a half dead tree, bro. And then you can kind of like toy with it a little bit more. Again, the reason I like to do things with small numbers is so I can kind of go out in and out like this, in and out like Mama taught me. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to be able to like you know do some do some work with my tree. If I have this set up to you know three hundo and I have all these leaves and I can't see what's going on, and then I try to scroll something, it blows up. You know what I mean? I don't want it, I don't want anything blowing up. But the point is, you can sit here and toy with the size of your leaves, where they are, how thin they are, all your different settings here. That's not it, dude. It keeps going. You know what I'm saying? The armature. This is obviously the skeleton of the tree. You can get involved in that. Guys, there's so much stuff. The splitting, you know what I'm saying? How many different vertexes are there? You can turn it down to where there's not as many. You know what I'm saying? Like it's much more. That's not even a tree now. That's that's. It's not even a tree anymore. You know what I mean? Like I broke it. I've I, I turned it into a, 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 a broken cactus. Oh, snap. Now you got all kind of them. You know what I'm saying? Like snap. You know what I'm saying? Just, just snapping. You know, we're just snapping all over the place. That's what people... It's what people do now. It's 2021, right? I'm, just, I'm still learning. But, guys, thanks for watching Josh here with the Prop Production. Just wanted to show off a couple of these add ons. Go check these out. We're going to start using these. I didn't want to go into specific, super, super detail because, you know, again, I, I have so many things to show you when it comes to what we're going to use the add ons for. We're going to start doing Let's Make and we're going to start just making complex models just one at a time and tutorials and Blender. But there you go, guys. And what's cool is, you know, you can kind of like, you can turn this bad baby into a into a model later. You know what I mean? You know, you turn it into a model. Oh, God, I pressed a button and I didn't mean to. But the point is, you know, you can turn it into a model later and kind of have, you know, have its bad baby and you can like, you can edit it specifically the way you want to. Now, if you delete this thing, because as you can tell, we lost the, we lost the window. If I, if I, if I, oh God, oh God. If I click on it and I delete it and it's gone, you'll notice that I still have this bad baby and I delete that and it's gone. If I shift A, go to curve and go back to the sapling gen, it's not going, it's not going to be back, bro. It's not going to be back the way you wanted it. Now, actually, it may be the same. Let's, let's find out if i turn leaves on yeah man it, it did not save any of our changes so i want you to i want you to if you press the tab button like that oh it's not that yeah it is if you press the tab button and you go back into editor object mode while that's up while that's open it's gone you know what i'm saying so be very careful when toying with this it's not like the landscape like i said i clicked on it right there and it's gone like i literally just opened it up I got it here. I click on it, and the window's gone. You know what I'm saying? So just throwing that out there. Be careful. Toy with your stuff. Don't click on your mesh. Don't press the tab button. Make sure you're done editing before you get out of this window. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Josh here with Deprive Productions. Sub subscribe to the YouTube channel. We got almost 25 hundo subscribers. We're hanging out. Uh, sorry about a month there with no tutorials. I hope you enjoyed the rest of the content, though. Little gaming, little music. We had to get a, our PC under control. We had a graphics card issue. But we're back, and we love you, and we miss you, and we missed you for a long time, and I love you long, long time. You know what I mean? Long, long time. But, guys, thanks for watching. All kinds of cool stuff coming. Just wanted to talk to you about uh, uh, add-ons. We had never discussed them. But, and again, edit, preferences, the add-on tabs. Get rid of your, get your words there. Check these out. There's so many. Check them out. Have a blast. Blender's amazing. It's free. All these add-ons that are already built into the program. They're already built into the software, dude. They're free. Check them out. Enjoy. Love you. Miss you. See you in a couple days. Peace.